Now there's a number of ways to solve this equation. Certainly we can multiply this all out, put it in standard form, and then refactor it or even use the quadratic formula. But here I'm going to use a, a substitution here. I'm going to let u equal x plus 2. Then u squared would certainly be x plus 2 squared. And that's what we have here. So u squared minus 2 times u plus 2 has to equal 0. So what's left then is really just a quadratic. Now this quadratic equation doesn't factor, so I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula where a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is 2. So here's the two solutions using the quadratic formula, but the variable here is u. So u equals negative b, in this case negative negative 2, plus or minus the square root b squared, uh, minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Okay, simplifying. Negative negative 2 is just positive 2 plus or minus the square root 4 minus 8 all over 2. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. So notice here the discriminant is negative. So inside there I have a negative 4. That tells me I'm going to get 2 complex solutions. Okay, so 2 plus or minus. The square root of negative 4 is 2i all over 2. Okay, square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of negative 1 is i. Simplifying, um, we're going to have 2 over 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. Remember that 2 is a common denominator, so we certainly want to um, divide both of those terms by 2. And that will leave us with 1 plus or minus I. Okay, so we got two solutions for u. u equals 1 minus i, or u equals 1 plus i. We're solving for x, so at this point we have to back substitute. Let's remember x plus 2 is equal to u, so back substituting x plus 2 then should equal 1 minus i, or x plus 2 should equal 1 plus i. And then to finish this off, let's just solve for x here by simply subtracting 2. So for one of the solutions, it happens to be x equals negative 1 minus i. For the other solution, subtracting 2, I'm left with x equals negative 1 plus i. So two solutions here, uh, negative 1 plus or minus i. So that's how you do it using substitution. Try it another way. Try to solve this by multiplying it out, putting it in standard form, and then using the quadratic formula. See that you really do get the same answer.